19 numbers across the Ozarks have increased slightly, but doctors say not enough to cause concern. With President Biden recently testing positive for the virus, Hayden Savage spoke with area health agencies about what they're seeing. We're in the middle of those summer months, and I'm told that's whenever COVID-19 cases love to surge. Here at the Howe County Health Department in West Plains, they're seeing those elevated numbers as well. We have seen an uptick in uh, the amount of uh, genetic material in the sewer shed water. In Howe County, health department administrators don't have weekly updates on COVID cases in their areas as reporting is no longer required. But the department does rely on sewer surveillance, which shows Howe County is still in the low category for cases, but there is an elevated amount of genetic material, meaning that cases could go up. In North Arkansas, we've seen a mild uptick, uptick on the COVID cases. Dr. Larry Jennings, a physician with the Boston Mountain Rural Health Center, says he's seen an increased amount of patients who have tested positive for the coronavirus, but none with severe sickness. It's been mild. A few cases have been mild to moderate. I've not seen severe illness is, uh, issues. Their symptoms, similar to the common cold or the flu. It's the same type of symptoms. We're seeing fever, headache, uh, head congestion, chest congestion, muscle aching. A majority of cases, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, are still part of the Omicron variant. But John Hopkins said back in May that the new variant, Flirt, is the cause for around 4% of infections. In Howe County, it's believed a majority of cases are still the Omicron variant. But Dr. Jennings believes there's a chance the Flirt variant could be starting to make its way into northern Arkansas. I think there's a chance it may be the Flirt variant because we're seeing people that uh, have been vaccinated and uh, uh, come down with the illness. No matter the variant, health leaders say it's never a bad idea to update your COVID booster if you haven't had one in a while. We do know that there is a new vaccine coming out this fall. So, you know, if, if, if it's been a few months since you've been vaccinated, the, the new vaccine is for different variants. Folks should consider getting the vaccine. And the administrator told me if it is time to get that updated COVID-19 vaccine, just give your county health department a call. Reporting in West Plains, Hayden Savage, KY3 News. Well,